Location you can drop in Call of Duty Blackouts. Blackout, and uh, as you can see on the map, it's located semi near the center in the northern section, just south of Dam, and north and to the east of Firing Range, south and to the east of Estates. A lot of forest and uh, cover up here in this whole area, so it's a good starting point to work your way from. And you're usually going to have a fight on solos, duos, or quads, no matter which area you come to. So we'll go ahead and take a look at both sections: the main building area and parking lot, and then the train yard itself. I prefer to drop in the train yard, and we'll get to why when we get to that side of the map. Starting off in the parking lot, though, there is usually an assortment of vehicles here: ATVs and or trucks always one here and there's usually always one on the left side by the water tower uh, keep in mind you are very vulnerable late in the game to snipers on the hilltops to the north so be very very careful you can have to utilize that cover in and around train station in order to be successful somebody with a, an outlaw up there and a sniper scope is going to make quick work of you and your team if they are a good shot as you can see the truck did spawn here on this side of the train station there's access to the train tracks and the tunnel to hide in down there. You can't go through that tunnel though, um, so don't waste your time following the train tracks. The other way, you'll end up at a bridge that crosses the river, which you can utilize to uh, go through this mountain, and you'll come out here, and the train tracks will actually go all the way down through the bottom of the playable area of the map to here, where they will end. Um, so it's a viable route and an alternative if you have a vehicle uh, other than using roads, however, you're putting yourself in a lot of danger um, as you run through there. We won't start here at the walkthrough. We're going to go back to the front side so we can do this in order. And we'll take a look at the main train station building over there. And, uh, there are a couple side buildings pretty close. They offer you a little bit of loot. A backpack and a pistol isn't a bad start. This is where I heard a vehicle running. It makes me think somebody's in here with me. But uh, it just says I'm in here alone. I'm able to do this by just starting my own custom game and coming in and exploring the map pre-deployment. And uh, everything has already spawned in. These little shacks offer you nice cover. Teams running from the hill. Usually you're able to uh, surprise them very efficiently. It's not easy to spot people through windows and blackout could be a little easier I must say especially if the window is not broken sometimes it's hard to keep their see their shadow behind but on the other hand it offers you a good tactical gameplay addition uh, for those of you that like to play in a realistic fashion the outcropping buildings aren't going to hold much but they are going to hold enough to maybe take the location if you drop in solos and play carefully you can find loot in that opposite side building this building and the tower sometimes has some gold guns once in a while and or an assault rifle See if there's one in there. Nope, little 50 cal. If I had a paladin, that would come in handy. And some armor. So just on the side buildings, in a trauma kit, I was able to get pretty, uh, pretty suited up for a decent fight to take over the train station, I guess, if I was. I'd have a trauma kit, armor, and a automatic shotgun, which uh, is pretty lethal in the right hands, can make quick work of another team. Scattered around the outside of the main building, there is also going to be loot on the ground like so and sometimes you might get lucky like that and find yourself a really powerful weapon to uh, take over this location there's several ways in and out um, and we'll go inside in just a minute pay attention though as you can make entry from the top um, anybody who's played this game for more than a couple minutes uh, apparently you can be able to jump up to that top right there and get through pretty easily you can jump up from all of these little spots right here like so and uh, make entry through the top window. So not the easiest place to hold down, but there are some chips and tricks once we get inside there. We'll take a look at them on the opposite side of the building. More guns. Got some submachine guns and uh, extended barrels. A couple of attachments. There's not going to be usually much here. Occasionally, we will spawn right here. Uh, if you're playing this on Xbox One, it seems to be um, pretty 
pretty random, but also pretty proficient at being there. I would say 1 in 10 games. There's going to be a level 3 armor sitting right there. Around the front side, there is a main door, of course, that's going to lead you in under the awning and the docked train. And there's also these side rooms here that lead to the restrooms that you can get in behind your opponent if you need to and surprise him from the side. There's a couple of window there and the one we went through right there. Uh, once you're inside, this is a pretty cool place to sit there and defend. Ooh, let's check out my Mastercraft ICR7. That is dope. Super sick camos have been added into the game. If you don't have any, you should go get some. And uh, they carry over now to um, blackout modes, which is pretty dope all the way around. I, I dig that. Uh, the train station, as I was saying, uh, hard to hold on solos by yourself. Uh, unless you got a barricade and some razor wire, in which case you can kind of prop these doors with them traps and be pretty safe in here. It is a small enough space to where your shotgun can do a lot of damage, but an assault rifle will be just fine. And uh, there's some people who prefer the submachine gun stuff. Um, and you go right ahead with that. There's a sniper rifle, so a couple of three assault rifles, submachine gun, and a sniper in here, 338 one Akashka, um, which is quite effective. More shotgun madness goodies, concussion grenades, so plenty of stuff in here to hold out for a few minutes. There are a couple better locations to hide in here if you want to be uh, pretty crafty about it. You're going to want to jump on this stuff in here, like so, and try to maneuver your way up to here. There you go. You get in this corner. It's pretty hard to spot you. Um, or if you get to this side here, you can want anybody coming into that door. Uh, so that fight won't last long. You can also snipe out the windows at the train yard. And it, anybody coming in that window here. This is my favorite spot to sit if I'm playing it solo while I'm trying to take over this location early in the game. You can pretty much do well with any weapon. And even a pistol will get you some kills. But a combat axe can be fun and get you some highlight clips that you might want to save. On the other side, you can get up onto this as well uh, with a little better skill in jumping. But you're not so safe because somebody can come through this back window and get you pretty easily. Um, a good spot on this side of the room would be up there, uh, which is a little harder to get to. But you can use this water bottle over here most times or the door. And same idea as the other side. You have shots down on that door there. there and uh, shots also on the front doorway. Both upper windows are accessible from the outside, as I stated. And you can also hang out up here if you want. If you have a good weapon early on and people are running around looking for loot, this is a very, very powerful position to sit there and just pick them off as they go through these train cars. Because they're going to, and they're going to line themselves up almost perfectly for a sniper shot. You'll be able to down them or kill them really, really quick. Uh, move on for the main building. We'll go to the main platform where the red dock train is. The train holds a lot of loot. Um, although you're going to have some competition as you run through here, people are usually going to be shooting you pretty quickly and uh, you're not going to have a lot of time to yourself to just sit here all day. So make it fast, just sprint up and down, grab what you want as you go and get to the other side as quick as possible on the opposite side of the platform. There's also a lot of loot. A lot of this is going to be high level loot or attachments, so you're going to want to make a pass through here before you leave just to grab what's left, even if it's seconds. Clean it up after somebody else who looted here. You're usually still going to find good stuff. And, uh, it'll really help you late in the game to grab those grenades, trophy systems, and other things that they left behind. You saw an RC car sitting there as well. The other section of the train station is separated by the track. This right here is the SWAT RFT. This is the brand new gun. New assault rifle. It's kind of a bonus there. You can take a look at that. It's pretty dope. Do it over, I gotta do. I guarantee it isn't that.